I'm Barbecue Pitmaster Mo Kaysen down here in the Gulf of Mexico with my buddy Captain Sharky Marquez on a quest to catch some elusive flounder. Grill them up in one of my favorite recipes. Join us on this episode of Catch Cookout. What's going on? What's going on, man? So, uh, Sharky, how are we going to target these uh, flounder? What they like to do is they get up in the shallow waters, up on bank lines, shorelines, around structure. We in the money, baby. We're catching them on their migration out into deeper waters. Right. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. Yeah, man, you know, today, man, when we get done, I'm gonna make up a really beautiful crab stuff wow, flounder man. recipe, man. These stiff fillets are gonna be money. I can't wait it's to awesome. try it. It's gonna be good eating, boy. Good eating, man. Epic, mm -hmm. epic time. Hey Sharky, we had an awesome time out in the water catching these flounder, man. I have an outstanding recipe, man. It's crab stuffed flounder. It is amazing. Mm. Sounds good to me. First off, we're gonna have some lump crab meat. Second is gonna be some green onions. We wanna put those in the, the bowl. Uh, Next is Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Dry mustard. Mayonnaise. Put some mayonnaise action in there. Oil. Righty. And then some crushed saltine crackers. Man, those saltines add that little... That adds body to it. I like that. Now what I'll do is mix this all together. It's time to add this crab meat. You know, now that we got this beautiful flounder stuffed and seasoned, the last step before going on the grill, we're gonna put some melted butter. That just gives you some more depth, some savory flavors. Absolutely. And moisture. All right, Sharky, this bad boy is ready for the pit. Let's take it out there and get it on the grill. Let's do it. We're gonna be cooking these at 400 degrees on our pit boss. Total cooking time is gonna be about 25 minutes. Now it's time to finish the last step for this fish. What we're doing, we got egg yolk, we got mayonnaise, we got parsley. I'm gonna incorporate all of those, whisk it together, and then at the end of the cook, I'm gonna paint the flounder with this sauce. And basically what that does, that'll harden up and create a nice shell on this flounder. Nice. Looks good. Let's check on the flounder. The flounder's been on for 20 minutes. Let me get the grill up to 450 degrees. And while the tip comes up, we're gonna hit these with the finishing sauce. Now we've hit it with the finishing sauce. We're gonna let it sit for about five more minutes and then we're gonna take it off the grill. These smell amazing. I can't wait to dig in. All right, Sharky, this flounder is ready to go. Man, Mo, this is seriously the best looking stuffed flounder I've ever seen. Well, let's dig in, man. Let's do it. There you have it, crab stuffed flounder. For more recipes like this one or to gear up for your next catch cookout, go to academy.com or visit your local academy sports and outdoors.